In this video, we're going to look at the following Maths Olympiad question. We need to find four prime numbers smaller than 100, which are factors of 3 to the power of 32 minus 2 to the power of 32. Now, obviously, the powers on these numbers are far too high for us to deal with doing any kind of arithmetic. They're too big for the calculator. So we're going to need to find a trick. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is that we've got powers, two terms being subtracted from each other. The powers are identical and they're both even. So we can use the difference of two squares to simplify this. So 3 to the 32 minus 2 to the 32 is equal to 3 to the 16 plus 2 to the 16 times by 3 to the 16 minus 2 to the 16. So this is just the difference of two squares. We've halved the powers, we've kept the 3 and the 2, one bracket is plus, one is minus. If you're unsure why this is the case, try multiplying out that right hand side and you'll get back to the left. But now what we're left with is on the right hand of our right hand side, we've got another expression of two numbers subtracting from each other with even powers that are identical. So we can do the same thing again. So our second bracket becomes three to the eight plus two to the eight times three to the eight minus two to the eight. We can do the same again. So that last bracket becomes three to the four plus two to the four times three to the four minus two to the four. And if we do it again, we end up with three squared plus two squared times three squared minus two squared on the end. Now we can do the same thing again to three squared minus two squared. But at this point, the numbers are low enough. Actually, it's quite simple to work them out now. Three squared minus two squared is nine and minus four. So that last bracket is five. 3 squared plus 2 squared is 13. 3 to the power of 4 plus 2 to the power of 4, a little bit trickier. But if we do our powers, 3 to the power of 4 is 3, 9, 27, 81. Add 16, which gives us 97. Now, so far, we've got three prime factors there, 5, 13, and 97. They're all prime. They must all be factors because that right-hand side is just brackets multiplying together. So to find the fourth one, we're going to need to do something with our 3 to the 8 plus 2 to the 8. This is a little bit trickier, but we can calculate it. So let's split our 3 to the 8 into 3 to the 4 times by 3 to the 4. So this is just our rules of indices. 3 to the power of 4 is 81. And there are a few ways to do 81 times 81 in our heads. One way is to think of this as brackets. So 80 plus 1 times 80 plus 1. If we expanded them, we'd get 80 times 80 is 6,400. We'd have two lots of 80 times one, and we'd have the one times one. So 6,400 plus 80 plus 80 plus one is 6,561. Two to the power of eight, reasonably simple. Just by doubling, we get 256. So added together, we get 6,817. Looks a little bit tricky at first. But with a bit of inspection, we can see that we've got two parts of this number. We've got 17 and the 6,800, which if we treat it as 68, we can see they're both in the 17 times table. 17 is 1 times 17. 68 is 4 times 17. So 6,817 must be 401 times 17. Now note for this question, we didn't need to find the 401. We just needed to find that prime factor the 17, we put it in there for completion. So now we know that 3 to the 32 minus 2 to the 32 is equal to 3 to the 16 plus 2 to the 16 times by 401 times 97 times 17 times 13 times 5. Those last four numbers are all primes. They're all lower than 100. So our answer is 5, 13, 17 and 97. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.